What's up guys, Mike here, and today I'm going to go over everything I've learned about grinding shooting badges in the fastest way possible. Trust me when I say you may have watched other guides before, but today you are going to learn some new methods. You are going to learn the fastest way to get your shooting badges so that you can dominate next gen games as fast as possible. And trust me, over the last few days, I've been trying out multiple different methods to find the one that's most efficient. And so what I do wanna say is before we start, Please like this video, it helps me out a ton with YouTube's algorithm, and subscribe and turn on post notifications because I am going to be giving away NBA 2K22 or $50 worth of VC to 5 people who are subscribed with post notifications on. The second channel grind is back baby, I'm going to be doing a guide on how to get 99 overall in all of your badges as fast as possible in the same video that is going to be my next upload for now though let's continue on and with this method we are going to be using a five minute quarters and the default my career difficulty you are also just going to be playing my career games there is no need to use the practice facility since the amount of xp you get from the my career games alone makes not using the practice facility perfectly fine you will see that in this video that is as long as you are using these methods pretty well if you aren't doing that well right away in my career if you want to take a few games and get a bit of extra xp aka if you want to use the practice facility at first then i would suggest using one of the drills with a hard difficulty that's easiest for you since the hard drills give you the most xp now this is important before we get into the actual my career gameplay here every few weeks throughout the season you gain access to chris brickley's gym for workouts and these workouts are so important the reason for this is that they grant you four times the amount of badge progress and i've only ever seen the drills be shooting drills so make sure you watch out for those when they are available because again you get four times the badge progress here this is a no-brainer now getting into the actual my career methods the most effective method i found is simply just using a catch and shoot threes it's that simple guys now i know it does look like the computer is guarding you real tight at the three-point line here but as you can see with as close as the computer is the contest that they actually have is somewhere from around eight to eighteen percent which is easily greenable in fact eight to eighteen percent is basically like the computer isn't really guarding you at all trust me when you try this out for yourself you'll see just have faith and confidence in your catch and shoot shots and the contest will not be there you will be able to green with ease now that is in the beginning of the game once you get to around 40 or 50 points there is a chance that the computer does start to guard you tighter so if that does happen you'll have to throw in some pick and pops and fast break open shots it is at this point i do want to say make sure to focus on getting your team takeover with your team takeover you could easily just do the method of getting wide open catch and shoot shots and this is very important as you are grinding specific badges we are back at chris brickley again where if you go through the mamba mentality quest in chris brickley's workouts you will be able to change your takeover to whatever you want that means when you're grinding shooting badges like right now you're going to want to change both takeovers to a shooting takeover that way your bar fills up the fastest when you are actually taking jump shots and of course when you actually get team takeover your player will be able to make shots at a higher rate now at this point in time i want to go over what shooting badges i think you should equip first as you are grinding so the first badge we are of course going to equip here is the catch and shoot badge that is because most of the time we are going to be making catch and shoot shots putting the catch and shoot badge on just gives you an early leg up trust me just equip this first so after you max that badge out next we are going to go with the limitless spot up badge so if you are able to run a bit more out if you're able to get a bit more space away from the three-point line you're going to get a bunch more open shots after that the third badge we are focusing on is sniper now sniper comes in handy when we are shooting very lightly contested jumpers at first i did have trouble greening consistently when running on lower stamina but with sniper it did make those shots go in a lot more so i would definitely suggest it. after that we are going to equip a lucky seven and at this point i just want to remind you guys the badges that we are equipping are just to grind they are not the best badges for playing park pro and whatever these are just to grind so anyway we are going to equip lucky seven since we will be shooting very early in the shot clock of course to maximize the amount of possessions we can per game lucky seven if you didn't know gives us a boost for shooting a mid-range or three within the first seven seconds of a possession and personally i have felt a huge difference with this badge equipped doing the method correctly and as you can see on the screen right here, with everything I've just said, I was receiving about 10,000 XP or more per game on only five minute quarters. I think this is much more efficient than 12 minute quarters and just much easier. 
so there we have it guys here is the shooting a badge guide for nba 2k22 next gen remember please leave a like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you do not miss when i post the fastest method to get 99 overall and every single badge in this game also the second channel grind is just back in general so i would really really appreciate if you subscribed and turned on post notifications and of course, if you do subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications, you will be entered to win a copy of NBA 2K22 or $50 worth of VC, whatever you choose. So guys, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications so you do not miss a video and so you enter that giveaway. And also, I do want to say thank you if you're already subscribed. You're awesome. We all know it. And as always, have an awesome day and cue that music.